Okay, this is our 10th uh, permutation in our uh, permutations of uh, groups of five. This one is one, three, four, five, two. Um, so it's going to have a similar move to the last one. The first three notes are kind of in the same order, but then the last two notes are reversed. Um, so we're going to play <clears throat> in the Ionian mode here. The first and fifth fret of the E string, the first fret of the A, the third fret of the A, and then finish with the third fret of the uh, e string. So it kind of like sets it up in a nice way. Once you change strings, you finish in a natural motion. This isn't as bad as the last one, I don't think. They're very natural with that. It's almost pentatonic with a stretch and then down there. Okay. So we'll do um, three and six for the Dorian and uh, on the E string and then move to the third fret and the fifth fret of the A and roll back to the fifth fret of the A, the E. Okay, Phrygian mode is going to look like five and eight on the E, five and seven on the A, six on the E. is going to be 6 and 10 on the E, 7 and 8 on the A, then back to 8 on the E string. Okay, uh, Mixolydian mode now is going to be 8, 12 on the E string, 8, 10 on the A string, 10 on the E string. <laughs> Aeolian mode now, 10-13 on the E string, 10-12 on the A string, 12 on the E again to finish. Locrian mode to finish will be 12 and 15 on the E string, 12 and 13 on the A, 13 on the E. Okay, so there you have it. There's our 10th uh, permutation overall out of 120, our fourth in our subset of six here that starts with the first and third notes. We'll be back with another one shortly.